Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking about this Kuhn GMD 600 G2 HD hay mower. Uh, first off, this is a mower that I bought used. I did not buy this one brand new. Had it about, had this one about two years. And uh, it's got six turtles on it, six heads. I always keep fresh blades on these mowers. And it's set. Uh, all winter so it's not gonna be it's not gonna want to move because it's freezing cold out but uh this mower has been good i've had to do a little bit of work to it had to replace these skids here in the middle uh these wear guards have not had to replace the big ones yet and i've had to replace that big one there on the end so i talk about the likes dislikes of this um one of the things i do like about it is that Coon is known for having the probably some of the best cutter bars out there and I do believe that to be true because this mower has a very strong cutter bar and I, I don't push it I make it cut the grass I'm pretty particular with it but uh, it seems to work out pretty good for that everything on this end of the mower is heavy 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 duty and I doubt it'll break normally this mower is sitting in more of an upright position but uh, that cylinder leaks, so it's kind of leaked all the hydraulic fluid out, and that's why it's sitting on the ground. That brings me to my first dislike about this mower. Coon does not put a stand on these mowers. I do not know why, but I really think they should put a stand on these so they can sit up and they'll be easier to hook up. Because when that, because that cylinder leaks right now, it don't take maybe two days for that thing to fall to the ground, and then you gotta hook it up to pick it back up and it won't even stay but uh, other than that I like it uh, this is here because I have to hold this bar up when I'm cutting or otherwise this will hit that and then I won't be able to fold this in I'll have to come out here and pull this this used to have a used to have some sort of rope I believe that moved this here and this but it's broken and now it's just tied to that so, uh, let me think. This thing's got four belts on it. Four belts are in here. I've not had to change them, nor have I had to tighten them in the two years that I've owned this mower. So, hadn't had to replace any of the U-joints. Haven't had to do anything like that. Uh, I, I bought this used, and it's been good for me. Um, the, like I said, the only thing there is that hydraulic cylinder is leaking. And uh, these bushings are out in that right there. So those are the only two issues that I know of that I have with it. But I've run it for two years. It's been good. Hasn't broke down on me yet. Uh, would I buy it again? I'm not sure. Um, if, when I go to get a new mower, I've looked at a New Holland. Possibly getting a New Holland. And possibly getting a Vicon. If I ever trade this more off, because I want to get a bigger mower in the future, because this one's only seven feet ten inches wide. A bigger mower would really, really help, because I have a hundred and five horse tractor, and an eight foot mower is just kind of small for it. I'll be honest, eight foot mower is not not that big for it. Overall, it's a good mower, but there's a few things I don't like about it. Like I said, it doesn't have a stand, and I really don't like that this curtain doesn't come all the way down I really wish that it did because that that's as far as it comes down I wish you come down further because with that being open that seems like it's a good opportunity for rocks to come out and hit the windows of my tractors but you know I'm not really sure why I couldn't did that overall I like it I just have a few few minor issues with it that I just kind of have to work through until I can get the money to buy a new one newer newer Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, follow for more.